Happy Halloween! Hello everyone! I'm Shrok. I'm the producer of War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave XBS Global Body. And hello everybody, happy Halloween out there. My name is Justin, I am the community manager for War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave XPS. War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave XPS is a tactical RPG born from the Final Fantasy Brave XPS universe and it is now available on the Apple App Store, Google Play, and the Amazon App Store. So today, the Halloween information we will send you. So, what costume, Justin? Uh, I am, my costume is a witch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just wearing the pumpkin grass. Well, they look spooky and they look very cool. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, so due to the COVID-19 situation, we are not shooting this video from a studio. We are recording this video remotely. That's right, and in this video, we'll be talking about the all new units being released and some other things, so we hope everybody out there will enjoy. Okay, let's get started. Today, we will be introducing three new units. First up, we have these two. We will talk about their abilities later. And here is the last one. <sighs> Much better. This is exciting. I suppose I can play a little. Be it curse or boon, I shall grant your desires. Now, time for the party. Enjoy the feast, my pretties! <laughs> Just like that. What bliss. This year, Halloween will be released at the same time in both the Japanese and the global version. Yeah! Now, Please tell us more about these units, Justin. Of course, thank you, Hiroki. Ravelka is a fire type MR unit with a cost of 50. Her main job is Energist, and her subjobs are Kotodama Wielder and White Mage. She is a versatile unit that can act as either an attacker by raising her own magic and agility at the start of a battle in assailing foes from early on, or as a healer by utilizing Kiraga and Rays to support your party. Twin Chi Rupture is a powerful ability that deals an extra large amount of damage to targets within range based on her magic stat. This ability doesn't have much range, but it more than makes up for it in the firepower department. Chi Barrier bestows a barrier on Ravelka that reduces the physical damage taken three times. This bolster defense will allow her to withstand enemy attacks and continue fighting on the front lines even longer. Chi Shot Flurry deals two hits of medium damage to the target based on Ravelka's magic stat. This ability has great range and the two hits create a chain allowing you to deal heavier damage. With the ability to raise her own physical defense and a host of other powerful skills at her disposal, Ravelka is extremely powerful for an MR unit. So please take this chance to take on the Ravelka acquisition quest and add her to your party. Shunak is a water type UR unit with a cost of 90. His main job is Duelist and his subjobs are Nightblade and Thief. He is an evasive attacker who specializes in powerful slash attacks. He possesses multi-hit abilities that can debuff opponents and others that can further raise his already high evasion. So without further ado, let's have a look at his Limit Burst. Shunak's Limit Burst, Blade of the Fatal Waltz, lowers an enemy's unit attack resistance for three turns, then deals three hits of large damage. Unleashing a three hit combo after lowering the enemy's unit attack resistance means you can expect to deliver a lot of damage with chains and elemental chains. Pressure Flurry lowers the target's defense for three turns, then deals two hits of medium damage. Similar to his limit burst, lowering the enemy's stats before dealing multiple hits means you can inflict solid damage with the chains that follow. Ready to Engage raises the area attack resistance of allies within the area around Shunak for 3 turns and bestows him with AP recovery on critical hits for 3 turns. The former raises the viability of both Shunak and the allies around him, and the latter allows him to use abilities in succession after dealing critical hits. Fatal Pirouette deals medium damage to targets within an area around Shunak with a high chance of landing a critical hit. 
It also significantly lowers the enemy's critical hit rate for three turns. This means you'll have a high chance of dealing critical damage with low risk of taking it yourself. Combined with ready to engage, this allows you to recover mass amounts of AP when enemies are bunched together. With high evasion, abilities that can lower enemy stats, and powerful damage dealing skills, Shunak is an incredible unit you won't want to miss out on. Lucia Halloween is a UR unit with a cost of 70. Her unique main job is Grimoire Keeper and her subjobs are Black Mage and Thief. She has area of effect magic attacks that can hit lots of foes, high HP and a barrier creating ability, all of which allow her to fight on the front lines as a magic attacker. Now then, let's see her limit burst in action. Her limit burst, Arcane Assimilation, activates an additional damage effect for 3 turns, which can deal minimal, non-elemental damage, which does not affect chains, when she uses attack abilities. Then, the limit burst itself deals a large amount of high accuracy damage to a target based on her magic stat and absorbs portion of the damage dealt. This is an incredibly strong limit burst, as it allows you to deal heavy damage additional damage, and even absorb a portion of the damage dealt, making it a perfect fit for a unit with high HP like Lucia Halloween. Swift N deals medium damage to targets within range based on the caster's magic stat, and also lowers their spirit for 3 turns. CT will also accumulate when an enemy unit is defeated. Lowering a foe's spirit makes them more vulnerable to magic attacks, meaning you can continue to follow up with greater magic damage, and defeating an opponent with it will also grant CT. Unhappy Ending deals medium damage to targets within range based on your magic stat and is guaranteed to hit. Abilities that hit a wide area are always useful, but being able to do so with guaranteed hit makes this a really solid ability. Spell of Shielding raises the defensive allies within range for 3 turns and also bestows a barrier on the caster that reduces physical damage taken. The former effect allows you pr to protect your allies, and the latter enables you to keep fighting fiercely on the front lines. Character Quest 2 for Frederica Halloween, Little Lira Halloween, and Lyriu Halloween will, be, will also be released. Please check out the other Halloween unit if you have the chance. Alright, so let's take a look at the enhancements that can be unlocked for each unit. There's, a, there's also going to be a new vision card available the week after Lucia Halloween is released. Okay, next, let's talk about the equipment. We have a new weapon that is the perfect fit for Shunak, and three other equipment items that will have a, their plus six level unlock. The Wave Blade makes its debut as a new weapon. This sword can be used by warriors, knights, red mages, paladins, spellblades, rune knights, and duelists. At plus 5, it raises the slash attack by 15, and its job exclusive abilities include all elemental attack plus 15, acquired AP plus 30%, and reaction block rate plus 30. It's a perfect fit for Shunak, so I'm just giving it a try with him. The following pieces will receive their plus 6 enhancements. Healing Mace, this will add Magic Attack plus 15 and Healing Power plus 10, allowing it to deal more damage and heal more than ever before. Fetus Lacerna, this will add Slash Attack Resistance plus 8 and Slash Resist Debuff Resistance plus 50, making it even more resistant to Slash Attacks. Flame Tongue, this weapon will receive Slash Attack plus 15, Fire Attack plus 30, and Accuracy plus 10, making it a great companion for Slash and Fire type units. And now, I can finally share an exciting update with you all. War of the Visions will also be even easier to play. That's right, so from October 19th, background repeats will be available. 
This function can be used for certain quests once you have completed all of the quest missions related to it. With background repeats, playing will be even easier than before. On to the next section, the Q&A Corner! Yay, yay. So in this segment, we answer questions from you, the viewers, that were left in the comment section of our show, as well as questions about topics that the community is talking about. So let's get to it. In the 2.5 year anniversary video, we mentioned that the next class match would be held in October, but many people in the community have been wondering when this will be in October. Thank you for your patience. Class match will begin on October 19th after the update. So please get ready to take part. Thank you, and next up is a piece of fan art posted on Reddit. Thank you, many thanks to SolidX for, for this. Wow, good, very nice. This is an artwork of Gracia in her new outfit. So how do you think, Justin? <laughs> I think it's very nice. <laughs> okay, I think so. Please share what you like about Graciela Flagbearer of Reform or uh, Graciela as a character. That's right. And as always, there have been lots of great artwork posted. We hope to show more next time. Uh, so please keep posting your art on social media and Reddit. All right, so it is time to wrap things up. But before we do, do you have anything for us, Hiroki? Of course, as is our custom, we are giving everyone a gift to celebrate this video. Please see the detail on your screen. Yay, thank you very much as always. I have one more announcement for everyone. We will be holding our US FAM meeting on December 3rd. Yay! Prayer! who take part will receive special presents. The application period will begin next week from October 20th, so don't miss out. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment, or share on social media. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and that's going to be it from us, and without further ado, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>